Hello everyone, how is it going? Uh, yeah, so this is Dice Tactics once again. Oh, don't go to there. No, stop it. Alright, so yeah, this is Dice Tactics. Um, yeah, so this is my third campaign. Um, this is going to be Zao Zao. So Zao Zao, uh, probably the easiest out of the three, I'd probably say. Uh, just because he has so many good units, he gets them very, very quickly, and you can't really mess them up too much because a lot of the time they're going to be people that are in your territory that are really close really easy to get friends of friends uh that are actually in your army um so yeah no it's very stop it it's very simple it's very very simple um and very very easy to use it's very good for kind of beginner players um but the the one thing you do have to keep in mind is that when when you actually face yuan shao you are actually a weaker power and Yuan Shao's army is stacked full of very... Oops, not load. Um, it's actually stacked full of very, very good players. Or units, excuse me. Um, so you always have to keep that in mind. But I think it's probably the easiest campaign out of all of them. But they, I guess keep in mind, they, they all have their hard parts in them. Uh, but that's that's my opinion anyway. So uh, we go through this. Uh, it's Zhao Zhao. Um, historically, he, he was... The Prime Minister, he was... Well, I guess at first you got to start with the um, Yellow Turban Rebellions. Um, it's kind of... He's one of the, the local lords. Um, and then you have Dong Zhuo, who actually takes the Emperor and actually basically... He becomes the quote-unquote protector of the Emperor. Um, and it's very corrupt. A lot of officials are working for him. And it, it kind of sparks this giant... Uh, coalition and Zao is one of the the really really big players in this um, and then it he kind of he snowballs from that he becomes a pretty big leader um, gains support gains land gains just a, a huge army um, and then you kind of get to this point so he, he's kind of trying to kind of like consolidate his rule um, he's basically taken the emperor and he's basically essentially controlling him he, he's a warlord that has the quote-unquote authority of the emperor um he's the prime minister <laughs> i guess we should say um so he's yeah yeah that's, that's, so he's the prime minister he's he's i guess he he really is just he essentially is the emperor he makes all the decisions and the emperor is basically a figurehead um keep in mind like the way that china works is that um, the Emperor is essentially God. Uh, he is God on Earth. Uh, you pay homage to him. Um, it, yeah, like, the common people would never, ever see the, the Emperor. He, they would never, um, yeah, like, it, he's a basically on a level by himself. He is God, and he, he lives in the, the, the palace, and he won't come out, um, and he's very... Yeah, he's, he's not someone that you can just approach. Um, now, the Prime Minister, hypothetically, is supposed to be the protector for him and do all the domestic affairs, while the Emperor, I guess, is just... What's the word? I guess he's just... He's just there, I guess. Um, now, yeah, I'm just trying to think. So, yeah, keep that in mind, anyway. But it's important to consider when you're looking at... You know, I don't even care. I don't even care about this unit. Neither of these units are any good. Like, I don't even care. I, I don't even care. I'm, I'm attacking. So it, does, it doesn't even matter if I capture any of these people. He's not even a good unit. Uh, so, you guys keep that in mind. Um, just out of curiosity, if Cav... Okay, actually, so he's only going to move with one. So I'm actually charging to a charge. Actually, so this will actually kill him. Um, so that's good. Uh, it, 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 it might capture him too. I, I really don't care that much. Um, it'll just be a goodly amount of damage, really. Uh, one more unit for me, but I get so many good units in the first couple turns. It's just kind of like, okay, well, that's that. <laughs> uh, nothing I can do now. Um, so you get like Exu Hayong. You get, uh, yeah, there's just... It's kind of dumb, <laughs> to tell you the truth. It's even dumber. It's just, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. I, I don't care if I take the church shot right here. Um, 
it's just it is what it is. It's just the campaign setup is as kind of a tutorial campaign to a certain extent. At least I think so. Um, uh, that could work actually. Um, just trying to think what I can do here. Yeah, I can charge. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the footman's gonna go first, though. So that's the only thing that kind of messes up my strategy here. Um, yeah, okay, that messed up. <laughs> is that just two infantry units? Then why am I even bothering? Ah, uh, okay. This is this is silly, silly, silly. Um, I'm just gonna go for the main guy. Screw it, whatever. Oh, stop it. This is kind of uh, compared to my late game. Uh, like Liu Bei going against like massive armies of Zhao Zhao. Like this is nothing. This is like a few little units that kind of maneuvering around and no one really cares, but I don't know. It's 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 whatever. It is what it is. I'll I'll hope to finish this real quick and get onto the recruiting and all that. Because I think what I enjoy about this game it is the recruiting stage, is the fighting against kind of difficult odds, like where you have to actually think about what you're doing and and it, it, it kind of just with the Zhao Zhao campaign it really snowballs really quickly like it's it's really hard to mess up really um, at least I think so I've played so many hours of this game that to me it's probably really really easy but maybe to a lot of people it's it, it, it might be difficult. Like th this might be their their learning experience, their first campaign. Um, maybe they like the color blue. Um, maybe they like names that repeat twice. Um, I don't know. Like maybe he just looked more appealing because he was the one with the big ass helmet on him. Um, so yeah, yeah, no. And it, keep in mind too, like Zhao Zhao, like his faction, I. I guess it ends up winning, uh, really, if you look at the long-term scheme of things. Um, I guess, do keep in mind that, it, I guess it doesn't happen in his lifetime, um, certainly. Uh, so I guess that's that's something to keep in mind anyway. But, uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, it happens, and it's, I guess it's not even his line that actually finishes the job. It's actually the Seema's that do it. Um, it it's finally the, the Seema family that finally founds the next dynasty and actually unites China. Um, so I guess that's, I guess consider that too, but um, I guess it's, I think it's the values that wave really, really, I guess maybe it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's the fact that you you'll go as far as you can to accomplish your goals um, and that might just be the whole culture of that area who knows right and and you know what it actually might be just I, I mentioned this before is that it, it's it, it's the the hairs it, the heirs the heirs excuse me um, I don't know why I just had to say hairs yeah it's the hairs man um, but it, it's the people that it's not necessarily the people that began it, though it is a big deal. Um, it's it's those of the people that continue on after them, right? So it's the people, it's their descendants, it's it's the people that will continue on after them. And it seems like a lot of these these people that that do come into power following uh, Liu Bei and Sun Quan, they're really incompetent. Um, I guess I shouldn't be that harsh on them, but. Like for instance, the the, the son of Liu Bei. Uh, I think it's it's not Liu Fang. It's, it's someone else. Um, I feel kind of silly for not knowing. But uh, anyway, basically, what he is is that he's a pampered, no good, useless person. Like all he does is listen to the advice of others, and he doesn't form an opinion of it for himself. He's basically just a figurehead. Um, and on on one hand, like Zhu Ge Liang really does have his best interests at heart, and it's a good thing that he listens to others and follows advice, um, and does all these things. But at the same time, it's it seems like he's really weak. He, he doesn't have the stomach for making decisions. He he, he won't. He, he's paralyzed as soon as he hears that Zhu Ge Liang is is dead and dying or dying, excuse me, and is on his like deathbed because. He's afraid because he won't be guided by Zhuge Liang, and 
he's going to be vulnerable and he, he won't be able to do any of this. He won't be able to accomplish uniting the country. Um, and I just find it kind of to be pathetic. And and you, and you look at, like, Sun Quan, his family ends up getting all killed, I'm pretty sure, uh, later down the line. And Wu gets taken over by the Simas, right? And blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes. Okay. So, actually, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna I'm actually gonna help Liu Bei. Um, I wish I could. Yeah. So Zhu Hayang, you get like right off the fucking bat, which is amazing. Um, and you also have quite a few provinces as well. Um, so that's always really nice. Now, Mei Jie, a uh, pretty good spy. Uh, we actually we may not have captured him last time. Um, regardless, regardless. Anyway. Um, what was I saying before that? Yeah, the, the descendants of a lot of these rulers are pretty incompetent. Um, that might just be me, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of a lot of these guys. Um, now... And it seems like... Like, KOP, he's actually... He's, he's fairly competent. He, he, he's, he knows enough to kind of continue the dynasty and be enough of a threat that he can't be discounted. Um, but the problem is is that he doesn't live for a super long time. He kind of ends up dying. And the guy who actually replaces him, called K.O. Ru, R-U-I, um, he's no good. He's useless. Um, he's not useful at all. He's just kind of a... Yeah, I, I wasn't impressed with him at all. At least, uh, keep in mind, this is all like a historical portrayal by one person. Um, so it, it could mean, it probably means nothing. It's probably just this person, like if he doesn't like a person, or if he wants to portray this person as, I don't know, a terrible, terrible leader, or a terrible whatever, we don't know. We don't know if they were really, maybe they just got on the bad side of this writer, or... You never know, and I guess most likely this probably wasn't even written at the time. Most, most likely, um, yeah, it wasn't even written at the time that it was made. It's probably just maybe uh, writings taken, which are I don't know. Y you know what I mean, anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go fight Lu Bu. Is is my plan? Um, we're gonna recruit a few people for sure. We have eight whole turns to kind of consolidate our forces and just kind of recruit people. Um, and just kind of play it smart, right? Because I, I do want to get some pretty decent units uh, and kind of build them up. Um, you know what, Ixon Yuan, I, I just can't deal with him. I'm sorry, it, he he doesn't have any anything good. It, it just high strength values is fine, but when you don't have any utility, you're useless and. I, I, Guojia actually gets quite good. He has boost, he has pit, he has a lot of these really good strategy tactics. Um, Ko Ren, very good. A lot of revives, actually. Let's put Overlord on him. Um, a lot of revives. Same thing with Lee Diane. He actually gets two revives, he gets quite a few aids. He's really good support. Um, Exu Hyung uh, does take a little while to kind of get ramped up, but once he does, he's very good. Um, so, yeah, like. I don't know, I don't know, it's just... Zao Sao, like, already, like, look, it's the second turn, and I already have enough units to make three or four armies. Like, compared to, say, Liu Bei, or compared to, say, Sun Se, Zao Sao's huge. He's absolutely huge. He's full of power. He's got all these great officers around him. He's got all these small, weaker powers around him. He doesn't have to deal with these huge hulking behemoths that are so much huger than the hit. Um, and, and to a certain extent, actually, Soon Say is actually kind of similar to that as well. Um, and actually, I think the first campaign I ever did was actually a Soon Say campaign. Um, and I think I actually ended up 